So get straight on up, put a pillow on my belly to make sure I don't have stomach gurgles. Headphones on. And then Tony tells me when I can start. We can start. Oh, hey guys. Come on in. Um, I'm Rebecca Solaire. This is day three of audiobook recording for Sarah Dessen's latest book, The Rest of the Story. Let me take you in the studio. Studio A. Here's where it happens. This is Tony. He is my engineer and director. Follow me into the booth. Two levels of soundproofing. And then here we are. This is where everything happens. This is where I've lived for the past two days. And after today, we're going to wrap up. Fun fact, this is my second Sarah Dessen book because the first book I ever narrated was Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. 11 years ago. And I recommend everyone read it and not listen to it because I can't, I am afraid to listen to it. Today I finished recording the story. And actually today was probably one of the, one of the hardest scenes for me to record only because of pace. Um, so a storm comes, a major, major storm. And when stakes are that high, um, you know, the writing is like, then we ran here, then we got into the car, then the car was stuck. And then with the, so it's keeping that sense of urgency, that quickness of like, oh my God, what are we doing here? And then this, and then this, and then this. Just as quickly as I'm speaking, I want to read the words that Sarah has, has written and accurately like not mess up the, the actual content. So that's part of why I, I prep the book so much because it's those passages that I wanna add suspense and drama to that if I were reading it for accuracy, but the car was stuck in the back and then we tried to back out, like that's just not creating that sense of panic um, that if you're reading it yourself and are invested in it, you you can't help yourself. You sort of pick up your own pace when reading. So I try to, to do that. The wedding was over, but the party had just begun. It's just so romantic, my best friend Bridget said, picking up the little glass jar of candy from her place setting and staring at it dreamily. Like a fairy tale. You think everything is like a fairy tale, my other best friend Ryan told her wincing as she reached down yet again to rub her sore feet. None of us were used to dressing up very much, especially in heels. I think first and foremost, I'm an avid reader. I'm always reading something, just whether or not I'm narrating it or not. And for me, I know how many years authors take to, to write these pieces of art. And so it's my job, I think, that when the listener is listening to the story, for them to not feel like it's being read to them. I, I try to make it feel like you forgot that I was reading and that you're just in a story. Um, that's my, my goal. So every time I get into the booth, it's kind of like reprogramming myself to play and tell a story um, as, as much as possible, you know? And then when I make a, I make a mistake, I just am like, eh, can we go back? Can we do that again? Or even sometimes it's not that I made a mistake, I just didn't feel like I liked the way I said it. So, um, you know, patient directors and engineers go back and then we do it again. Mm -hmm.